Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Now, usually when you're watching demonstrations, some people showing off screens that are ambient light projection, they'll have some light in the room right there, and they'll say, hey, look, screen's ambient light projection, when it really isn't. Now, I've gotten a lot of emails on the demonstration that I did uh, showing the screen off in a fully lit environment, doors open, windows right next to the screen, and people are asking me, is the screen ALR? Now, ALR is ambient light rejection. It's an ambient light rejection screen. I would consider the fact that these screens take on 10 times more light than most screens you see. Now, I'm going to show you how much light we're going to take in on this, how much light the screen's going to take in. Keep in mind, you don't have to worry about spending tons of money for a very expensive screen. You can actually paint a pretty large size with just two quarts. Two quarts of the Eclipse Invisible Black Silver Nano can paint a screen size from 100 inch to 135 inch. When you got screens out here that will cost you around $1,500, even more than that, and these screens basically are sitting in what you call ambient light controlled environments. But I'm gonna show you how we do things over here. All right, so first things first, let's open up a window because the reason why I have the projector block because I want you to actually see how much physical light is hitting the screen. This is very important to show you how much physical light actually comes in contact with the screen. One of the things you don't see when you do demonstrations, when you see demonstrations, you don't see people showing off how much physical light actually comes in contact with the screen. Uh, what you'll do is I'll show you the demonstration, but they won't show you the demonstration with the projector off or the projector blocked because the problem you have there is the fact that you really can't see how much physical light hits the screen. All right, now, Let's come over here and let's plug in our spotlights. We have 200 watt spotlights here and here that are coming up right up on the screen. So we have light here and light here that's connecting. See how much light? And then we have the window light, which is still not enough light, as I said myself. Now, I have a huge window. I have a huge glass door, so I'm gonna open up my door all the way up. All right, so there's my door all the way up. And there is my windows make sure I got enough light coming in because I want to make sure it's nice and bright in here so now we have ambient light from outside ambient light from the window and we have the room is fully lit you just can't get any brighter than this let's step back and let's see how much light physical light we have in the room you see how much actual physical light is actually in the room hitting the screen now my projector is sitting around 14 feet back from the screen and I'm going to show you how this new technology will allow you to be able to watch your sports pretty much anything else you want in a fully lit environment now it's up to you if you want to watch this screen with the lights out it's up to you but you also have the option of watching it with the lights on Mind you, I have two spotlights on the floor. You can see exactly how much physical light the screen is actually taking in. All right. All right, so let's go back a minute. Grab another demonstration. I have my cell phone near my chair. Now for a screen to be this dark, and the screen is very dark, look at the white levels. Keep in mind, there's 200 watt spotlights on the floor.
Okay. Grab another video. Let's do a night scene. So I'm doing a night scene. Plenty of light coming in. It's around five o'clock around here in the afternoon. So there's a lot of light pushing in. Like I said, the average person is not gonna have two spotlights at the bottom of the screen, but it shows you how much light the screen can take in and still keep an amazing picture at 14 feet back. Camera to focus a little better. Go there. We go. All right. So now I'm gonna shut my my door. All right. We we'll just leave the window. I got neighbors walking by. Like, what the frig is he doing now? All right. This is with the window open. Now, if I shut the window. Like I said, these screens are designed to take in a ton of ambient light. We can just keep the floor lights on. So some people have condensed lighting in their floors. You know what I mean? They have like these lights in, in the corner of their houses. And I have a few, a few friends of mine who have very, very big homes. And they have condensed lighting in the, in, on the floor. Now the cool thing about this is this technology is you can have the condensed lighting on the floor and that's not going to disrupt the picture in any way whatsoever. And as you can see, the lighting on the floor is more intense than the lighting coming from my over top. Right here. Like I said, anywhere I want in this environment, I can see my screen anywhere I go. This is a true ambient light rejection screen. And if I choose to open my window and let the window light in, I can do so with no problem. I'm gonna do this one again. Just to show you, I did this video previously, but I'm gonna do it again, even with the spotlights at the bottom, just to show you 
how amazing this stuff is. All right, now let me give you guys a real fast cap. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, a real fast cap. Uh, the new technology is available now. You can actually order this now on our website because we actually opened the shopping carts a little bit sooner than the 26. It is available world with worldwide shipping. We have it in two quarts that can paint a 100 inch screen. Actually, two quarts can paint 100 inch to 135 inch, 16 9. Also, too, we had the one gallon that can paint a screen size of 100 to 180 inch. And then we have a two gallon kit that can paint a 100 inch to 100, in, to, sorry, 100 inch to 300 inch screen. Also, too, the kits come with a free Wagner paint sprayer. Like I said, you're going to need it to apply the screen. And also, too, on top of that, it comes with a blackout cloth. Two core kits will come up with a blackout, will have a blackout cloth, sorry, of 10 by 12 feet. And then we have the uh, one gallon and two gallons that will have a blackout cloth that's actually 10 by 20 feet. Now, you can paint this on anything you want. You don't have to use the blackout cloth that comes with it. The reason why we give that to, uh, to you free, because some people can't paint on their walls because they rent, some people choose not to paint on their walls because they don't want to, and it's a nice option to have in there if you decide you want to go another route. Now, if you want to paint your pre-existing projection screen, you want to paint over your fixed frame screen, you want to paint it on glass, wall, <laughs> your wall, sorry, your drywall, or, or anything else you could possibly think of, you can do that with no problem. This right here is actually coated on blackout cloth, the same blackout cloth that we will be giving you for free. All right, for my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain, showing you what a true ambient light rejection screen should look like. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstrations. I know the sloths did. These are my sloths. You will see them from time to time pop up in my videos. I collect those, my sloths. But I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for your time. Just showing you that you don't have to spend a lot of money for a high-end projector just in order to see your screen. Some of you have white screens. We'll be doing a demonstration pretty soon on white screens outside. But um, just to show you don't have to spend a lot of money to have good technology. You know, these screens that claim to be ambient light rejection screens aren't really ambient light rejection screens. You should be able to use this in an everyday environment. Of course, you're not going to have that on the floor because you have condensed lighting in your uh, in your floor. But just to add, all in all, you know, you can have your screen in your everyday environment. If you choose that you don't want to have the lights on, guess what? You can unplug. All right, hit my switch, and I can use my screens with the lights out. Now, I have some people send me interesting emails. Well, what the hell does your screen perform with the lights out? Well, think about it. The screen looks that incredible with the lights on. How much more do you think it's going to look incredible with the lights off? And this is an uncalibrated 1080p projector. I've done this on 720p upstairs. This is an uncalibrated, no 4K upscaling, still set in the factory default settings at 14 feet back. Easy to do. If I want. I can have my windows open. And the screen still looks magnificent. All right, thank you all again for your time. The kits are available now on our website. The official launch date is tomorrow. We thought we launch them a little earlier um, some people have already taken advantage of that right now um, thank you all thank you those who have actually gone to place orders thank you for those orders I really do appreciate it I'd like to thank you all for your time I'm Kenneth Bird again from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using smart technology gain showing you what real ambient light rejection should look like thank you all for your time oh real quick so you guys don't think that you know some people that have had the lights like they'll have it like this they'll bring it down like that they won't have these this is a no-no that won't be there. I'm going to show you some of the demonstrations I have seen. Oh, and they can't have window light either because the window light will actually mess up the screen. So that's got to go. So to be this kind of environment will look just like this to make the screen look fantastic. See how good that screen looks? That's an ambient light controlled environment. You can't have too much light hitting the screen. So this is how your environment's going to look in your home. This is how usually your environment looks in the home. My wife wouldn't stand for this. Could I have my lights all the way up? And 
I gotta have some window light coming in too also too. What's the point of having windows if you can't enjoy the light that's outside, eh? Alright, thank you all again.